Okay, what is going on here right now, we've got a uh, variable uh, power, variable uh, voltage power supply. It's a very active. We have a uh, full bridge rectifier as well as a DC uh, ripple filter on it. It does uh, AC half wave and full uh, bridge with a filter or without a filter. Very active. And what this is doing is there's it's powering up uh, five cells. There's actually the tube cells in series being pumped with this uh, submersible pump here, so one and a half horsepower. Actually, I think it's three, three quarter horsepower. Uh, some pump, and uh, this what we've got going on as far as the cells go. Let me see right over here. There's the cells here. We got a uh, pressure gauge. It's running about ten, a little about seven psi uh, from the sump pump. And we also have the uh, PWM uh, MOSFET switcher on, powered by a uh, function generator. And we have four of these cells are powered by the, uh, the variable power supply over here. Uh, right now we're running about 30 volts uh, DC into it. And then we Hit the uh, last cell in series with the, uh, with the MOSFET switcher, so we're pumping about so 13 volts into the last cell. So with the last cell, it acts as a uh, basically a plas uh, plasma cell, steamer in a plasma cell. And what we discovered here, in fact, we're going to turn off. We're going to turn off the last cell, the last uh, plasma cell, and you can see the water bubbles are going to decrease. There we go. Turn it off. You see less and less bubbles here. Okay, we're going to turn it back on right now. You can see the bubbles increase. Look at the bubbles are doubling in size and volume and even size. So what it looks like is going on here, I got this idea this morning while I was laying in bed. Uh, oxygen ionized, the oxygen, uh, oxygen ionized energy is about 13.68 volts as well as same thing with hydrogen, it's pretty close. That's the first, first uh, ionization level for oxygen. Second one's higher and I think it's got about three or four four different layers, so it dawned on me the other day that what we need to be doing when your plasma plant is oxygen is and hydrogen when it's inside the cells, you need to hit it about at least uh, almost 14 volts, 13.8 volts is what the alternator puts out on the car, so it's actually pretty pretty good, almost ideal. So we really want to plasmatize that oxygen and hydrogen once it's been formed from the uh, HHO cells and uh, bring it up to another level. And what we're doing here, we're actually pumping the HHO gas into the last uh, plasma cell, so it's ionizing the gas for us. All in series. But we're also going to probably be doing some tests where the uh, natural rise from the cell will actually go into the last plasma cell. Uh, instead of pumping water through it, it'll just be like normal. So it'll just be in series. And that should be uh, even more interesting. All right. Well, thanks for watching.